Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today I am doing my New England Patriots NFL 2021 prediction. So as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Help me reach 175 subscribers for the end of the summer. I am only 11 subscribers away, so please help me at that goal by subscribing down below. Like this video if you enjoy it. Comment all your thoughts and opinions down below. I will be doing two viewer suggested videos once I hit 175 subscribers. So please make sure that you leave your suggestions, your record predictions, and your thoughts down below. Let's get started with today's video and starting off with week one. The New England Patriots start their season off against the uh, with a home game against the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins are a very good team, a well-rounded team, um, and a team with a lot of talent and potential. Um, the Patriots, the only thing I think that really helped them at all last year was their coaching staff. With a really weak roster, um, I think that they really struggled last year. Um, their wide receivers, and I'm going to just read them off, Kendrick Bourne, Nelson Aguilar, Jacob. Jacoby Myers, uh, Nikhil Harry, um, none of them are very good wide receivers. You didn't draft any wide receivers that are big guys. You have Trey Nixon as a uh, depth piece, but not a lot of big guys in the wide receiver department. So I'm a little bit concerned on whether you guys will be able to have that offensive firepower and, and able to win this game. Uh, so I had that as a loss there. Then you edging New York to play the Jets. If this was later on in the season, I may pick uh, Robert Sala's Jets, but with him being a new coach um, and implementing a new system, I have this as a win for the Patriots. Then you have a home game for the Saints, uh, our home game against the Saints. I have this as a loss, whether it's Taysom Hill or Jameis Winston or Ian Book, probably not, but probably, probably Taysom Hill at this point. Um, I have this as a loss for the Patriots. I think that the... Saints have a better defense. Yeah, they don't have as many wide receivers, but at least they have one good wide receiver. Um, they're in kind of the same situation where they have absolutely no depth at wide receiver the same way the Patriots do, but they both have good coaching staffs. Um, I think the Patriots have a little bit better of a defense um, as long as Dante Hightower and those guys come back and play well after being gone for COVID. Um, we'll see how that goes, but I have that as a loss there. Then you have a home game against the Buccaneers. I have that as a loss there. I think that you lose this game by a pretty wide margin. I think uh, Tom Brady will be very happy and very excited uh, to win this type of game. Um, and even though this is a home game in Foxborough, I'll have that as a win there for the Bucs. Um, then you have a home game against Texans. Texans are nowhere near the team they used to be with Deshaun Watson. I have this as a win here pretty easily um, win in that game. Then you have a home game against the Cowboys. I think Cowboys should actually be an interesting team this season. Um, with Dak Prescott coming back, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, Dal Tony Pollard, uh, Mark Cooper, they have all sorts of wide receiver weapons and running back weapons, um, something that the Patriots do not have. Their defense is a lot weaker than the Patriots' defense, so I could see concerns and problems there. But for the main part, I have this as a loss for the Patriots. I just don't think that the Patriots are going to be able to score enough offensive points, whether it's Mac Jones or Cam Newton at cornerback. I do think that the additions of John U. Smith and Hunter Henry at tight end should be able to be a big addition, but the problem is, is even with those two tight ends, you still lack any sort of offensive firepower, um, even at the running back position. Then you have a home game against the Jets. I have this as a loss here. I think Robert Sala will be able to take one out of the two games in that series. I think that the Jets are just a lot better than the Patriots are um, a team that has a lot more talent than the Patriots, but we'll see whether the coaching will be able to keep up with the talent. That's something that I find very, very interesting um, in this upcoming matchup. Then you have an away game against the Chargers. Last season you beat them, I think it was 45 to nothing. Um, so I have this as a win for the Patriots. I think that gap is going to close massively. But I think that this is going to be another win for the Patriots just because we'll see whether or not Brandon Staley is able to implement his offense. But this is kind of one of those games where I'm going to go a little bit overboard and pick uh, the Chargers to lose that game there. Then you had Carolina play the Panthers. I think that this is a team that you'll 
uh, lose to pretty big. I'm a big believer in Sam Darnold with Joe Brady and Matt Rule as head coaches. I really, really like them as head coaches and what Matt Rule is doing there. Um, so I have that as a loss there for the Patriots. Then you head to back home to play the Browns. This is a loss here. I'm sorry, Patriots fans. But with no offensive firepower compared to a team with probably the most offensive firepower in the entire league, whether or not J.C. Jackson and Devin McCourty and um, Stephon Gilmore will be able to hold up is one question. The problem that I have is whether or not your offense is going to be able to score enough points because eventually the Browns are going to score some points. I could find this game interesting if Mac Jones does play well enough, if he comes in. I don't believe in Cam Newton at all, but maybe if Ramondre Stevenson, James White, and Damian Harris are decent at running back and maybe Hunter Henry and uh, John U. Smith could be interesting there, but I had that as a loss there. Then you head to Atlanta to play the Falcons. I think that the Falcons are a better coach team now, um, but the problem that I have with the Falcons is the it, without a solid it, like the, the injuries have always been such an issue with them um, that when you have such an injured roster, uh, such an injury prone roster, and an aging quarterback, I find it hard to pick a team like that to win. Um, so I have the Patriots winning that game there. Then you have a home game against the Titans. I think that you lose that game. Um, you have greatly digressed, and the Titans, I think, has gotten a little bit better uh, since that playoff game uh, two years ago in Foxborough. I think that that is a big loss there for the Patriots. Maybe they go on a little bit of a revenge tour and win that game, but I think that will probably be a loss there. Then you head to Buffalo to play the Bills. I have that as a loss there. The Bills are just a lot better. I think that you may be able to win that second game, um, and I have you winning that second game, but I think that first game in Buffalo, it's going to be hard to win, and I just have no um, no expectation that you're able to beat the Bills there um, in that game. Then you have a game at Indianapolis in Indianapolis against the Colts. I have that as a loss there. I'm pretty high on Carson Wentz, especially compared to some other people. Um, so I have that as a loss because I think Carson Wentz in that backfield and the tight end, um, not the tight ends, the wide receivers that he has is going to be good enough. And with a strong defense that I think he has is going to be something that um, that the Patriots are really going to struggle with. Then you have a home game against the Bills, and like I said previously, I have this as a win here. I think that your coaching staff will be able to eke out a couple wins here or there that you really shouldn't just because they're so good, uh, but I really wouldn't be surprised if you have this as a loss here at the end of the year. Then you have a home game against the Jaguars. I have this as a loss here. I think that even though Urban Meyer is a good head coach and could bring the Jaguars to new heights and prominence, um, as they have not had in a very long time, but I have that as a win there for the Patriots because I think that Urban Meyer is going to take a couple of years to adjust to the NFL, and Bill Belichick nearly has that down. But I could see this as an interesting matchup. Uh, there for both teams. Then you have your final game against the Miami Dolphins. I have that as a loss there. I think that Miami is just such a better team with offensive firepower, um, with all that. And with that final game being on the road, I have a hard time predicting the Patriots to win that game there. I have the Patriots finishing with a 6-11 and record. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, not as good as last year with the 7-9 and nine record, but I think the Patriots are going to start to fall off, and I wouldn't be surprised if Bill Belichick retires anytime soon. So as always, make sure you hit the two videos down below. Hit the subscribe button up here. Help me reach 175 subscribers. And as always, have a great day. Bye.